moved out of state and shit that went left, she's seeking forgiveness. She used to dance, but she went alone and start up a business. Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Leslie. If you don't know, now you know, and that's on period. As you guys can tell by the title, today we are at Tarjay. We are doing a feminine hygiene shop with me haul. It's time to re-up. I haven't did one of these videos in like two to three months, because honestly, that's how long my products last. Let's see if Target has anything new on their shelves, any new scents. Also, make sure y'all check the description box below. I will have the timestamps listed, so if you are looking for a specific part, whether it's like vaginal care, shower routine, oral care, all that good stuff, Check the description and you can skip right to that part. But other than that, let's go. So much it tries me insane. I ain't got a clue, bro. So what can I say to you? Women in care feminine hygiene. And my number one pick is gonna be boric acid, y'all. This is a pH rebalancer so I like to use this after my period after my time of the month y'all know like on your fifth day when you guys have like brown discharge and you're like I need this to hurry up because my man trying to see me like do you not know you have 30 minutes stick one of these in and you'll be good to go normally they have the 24 count but now they have a 14 count and I wanted to show y'all this is new they have a moisturizing gel I've never seen this before, so maybe if you don't want to stick the pill up your vagina, you can just put the gel in it. Interesting. I told y'all it's something new every time. I also like the brand Down There Wipes. These are actually pH balanced, so I like to use these, you know, anytime after a night out or even if I'm just sweaty and I need to wipe myself. These are really good as well, like if you're using the bathroom, because sometimes. I don't feel like toilet tissue gets it all so a wipe just makes me feel more cleaner and plus it is ph balanced for store i don't really go for the feminine wash i used to use honey pot but y'all i'm a salt exo girl to the death of me so honestly you could just use an unscented soap and that'll work but there's so many new things y'all like what when i was using honey pot they didn't have all this scents like they have cucumber aloe foaming wash they have a prebiotic foaming wash like whoa if i was a honey pot girl i would be so excited to try all these new scents and then they have one for sensitive i think i was using the sensitive one because i just didn't want all that scented stuff down there for my vaginal like let's keep it let's keep it plain okay we'll use the scent for our body so for y'all that don't know i was i was on birth control i was on depo so i wasn't even getting periods that's why i kind of like forgot about this but i've been hearing good things about this brand cora i believe this is a black owned brand so you know we all for black owned period but if y'all really want my honest opinion i'm like i'm leaning towards like a diva cup I don't know about y'all, but I just don't like the feeling of tampons. I feel like it gives me more cramps. And then you have to change them so frequently because, baby, I be heavy. I haven't got my periods back yet because I just got off of Depo birth control. So stay tuned for the next video. I'll let y'all know if I am going to be transitioning to a Diva Cup or sticking to tampons. But let's go over to the vitamin area because that kind of correlates with feminine hygiene. So let's go. So we made it to the next aisle over, which is like the vitamin aisle. So just to start off, we have the woman's multivitamin. This is just an all-around vitamin that y'all should take. This is good for your overall health, whether it's vaginal, hair, skin. Get you a multi-purpose vitamin, okay? And then specifically just for vaginal health and just a good overall digestive system, I would recommend a woman's probiotic. Doesn't really matter the brand, it's vaginal health, immune health, and digestive balance. Make sure y'all add that to your cart. And I could not find a cranberry vitamin, but I recommend a cranberry vitamin. That is good to prevent UTI infections, and it has a lot of other benefits. Cranberries are good for your heart and all types of stuff, but we're not talking about that right now. And I can't find it. I told you I haven't been here in three months. It's like everything has moved, and I'm in a brand new store. 
y'all this is the worst time to do this it's like rush hour and everybody's in the store and that's why i'm talking so fast because people is just being nosy today like if you're gonna look subscribe period let's go ahead and go over to oral care we are now going to get into oral care because yeah you want to make sure your teeth are white and bright like a diamond so i used to be a everybody's looking at me bro i used to be a 3d crest girly but everybody's been saying 3d crest is overrated so i'm not trying to be with somebody that's overrated so i switched back to colgate because anytime i go to the dentist for my cleanings they give me colgate toothpaste why would a dentist recommend colgate if they wasn't the best but this is the one I currently am using. This is the Colgate Plaque Pro Release. I didn't gravitate towards a whitening toothpaste because I don't know, I just feel like my teeth are white, but I do want something that's gonna get rid of the plaque. So this is the one I'm currently using. Mm -hmm. Yep, that's it right there. But I heard a lot of people been using the Sensodome and the Pro Namel. I heard this is really good for sensitive teeth, sensitive gums, cavity prevention. So it sounds really good might have to try this one next they're in the same price range as colgate six seven dollars so leave a comment down below what toothpaste brand do y'all use right behind me is the floor this is the one that i have this is the smooth gentle floss tape by the brand grin but they have double twice the clean and then fine which is for tight teeth so get the one that suits your teeth needs i got smooth because i need gentle baby be gentle with me then as far as my toothbrush i do use like a standard toothbrush this is the one i have and honestly i just grabbed it because it was all black but i do prefer a soft or medium brush i don't really want like a hard or extra soft i like soft and medium and they should tell you on the top like this one is a soft bristle and you can rechange the tops so you don't have to keep getting a whole new toothbrush. You just buy the replacement. Let's get into the, the real fun stuff. Shower care. Sorry, y'all. I forgot to show y'all the mouthwash because they have it on this random back aisle. But I do use the brand Thorough Breath. I've been using this for quite some time now. This is my favorite flavor. This is Icy Mint. But y'all, when I first tried Thorough Breath, I had grabbed this one. And this is like Rainforest Green rainforest man this is nasty do not get this flavor i didn't realize that it was different flavors i just thought they were just color because why not but apparently they all have different flavors i have not tried a sparkle mint they got fresh mint dazzling mint clean mint i haven't tried it because i'm like stick to what i like i had got this one and i liked it so why even play around with the others you know okay let's go get to shower care because that's the most exciting part right oh it's right here look at that where do i start where do i start oh my god let me let me focus let me get my thoughts together and i'll get back with y'all <laughs> So we finally made it to the body wash aisle. If you are new here, then you probably don't know, but I am a ride or die for Olay. This is my favorite. This is my go-to. I always grab this one. This is the Olay Hyaluronic Acid Body Wash. And you all, not only does it smell good, but it leaves your body feeling so moisturized. And I have not found a body wash that can do that. So to me, this is like a two-in-one, three-in-one. It, cl it cleanses you. You smell good and it leaves your body feeling so smooth. So this is my number one pick and it will always be. But, you know, I like to give a little grace. I like to try other things as well. Second pick is going to be Native. This is the Lilac and White Tea. This one is actually unisex. I've seen some men use this as well. Yeah, it's not too sweet and it's not too masculine. It's very refreshing. Um, this one also leaves your body feeling hydrated, but not as much as the Olay. So that's why this one is my number two. And then my number three is gonna have to be Method Body. And this is like a very low three. I don't know y'all, but Method Body Wash, it smells good, but it leaves my skin really dry. So I always have to like use like a really good lotion, like a hydrating lotion after the shower. Like, I don't know, it just doesn't leave my skin feeling good. So that's why this is my number three pick. This is at the bottom of the barrel. And this is the only scent that I like from Method. I've tried, what was the other one I tried? I think I, the first one I tried was coconut and rice milk. 
wasn't a fan but this one pure peace smells really good y'all i feel so bad like people want to come down the aisle but i think i'm intimidating them i promise i'm just a regular girl and y'all i want to try this brand so bad natrium but i cannot find myself to spend 16 dollars 16 dollars now mind you this one has glyc glycolic acid there's one that has multi oil and vitamin c so i'm sure it does leave your skin feeling very very good but 16 dollars let me see how it smells no ma'am that smells like factory very formulated no type of scent and that's only 16 17 ounces for 16 dollars versus olay olay is 26 ounces for 11 dollars you do the math you make the sense okay when i was a dove girly dove cucumber scent was my go-to very refreshing not overpowering Mm, it still smells so good let me see people have been talking about is it the cocoa butter or the shea butter let's see the shea butter smells good shea butter always smells good especially if you grew up in a household you grew up around shea butter and coconut but honestly i'm like over that scent i grew up with it as a child like everything was cocoa butter mm, wait a minute This right here is my swag. Whoa. Is this new? Mmm, this smells like coconut, like coffee beans. It says coconut, coconut and cocoa butters. It literally smells like coffee beans. Ooh, I'm gonna pick this one up. And I was just talking about how I'm not a dub girly, but this smells so good, I have to get it right now. Uh-oh, sorry. <laughs> Sometimes I wonder why they just don't put everything on the same aisle. I only see the Dove body scrubs. I don't see tree hut, but we'll check the other aisle. I do like Dove exfoliating scrub. This is more so like a, like a cream. It's very soft. It's not very harsh like tree hut. So if you want like a soft exfoliant, this is really good. Let me show y'all so you can see what I'm talking about. Yeah. It's almost like a butter and it smells really good Ooh, this one is crushed macadamia and rice milk i think this is the one i have because it's the same shade oh my god y'all please leave a like for this video the way i'm getting all this attention and yeah it better be worth it please leave a like please leave a like okay i'm trying to find the razor blade for shaving i do like to use razors that have three to five blades it gives it a cleaner cut and you're just able to shave a lot more with less time the more blades it has i'm not sure if i have the target brand or if i have the venus brand but i know it has the smoothing what are these called smoothing blades yeah so those help a lot because then you don't really need the shaving cream as much and then if i don't feel like shaving i do use nair because i'm lazy and yeah one bottle honestly lasts like three to four months because I use this maybe like twice a month. So I'm gonna actually grab me some of that because you never want to run out. I'm not gonna lie y'all when it comes to deodorant, I don't really get too fancy. I like the clean scent. So I use like original scent or powder fresh. I do like cucumber deodorant and like tropical breeze, but this is why I need to have y'all propped up. I don't mind like the sweeter scents of deodorant, but honestly it's like when you have a scented lotion, a scented perfume and then now your deodorant smell like something like it's just too much so i prefer just to have like a clean unscented deodorant i was on the way to go see if they had the tree hut sugar scrubs and then i got distracted and i seen lotion and i was like wait i need to tell y'all what i do i need to okay okay so i had to move down a little bit but i just wanted to show y'all my lotions my favorite lotions after shower care this is my go-to it's the eos this is the pomegranate raspberry my least favorite is the vanilla cashmere and then my second fave would probably be coconut waters i like that one that one is a little bit more subtle this one is more fragrant i would wear this like when i'm getting ready to go out with my friends i found the jackpot which is the tree hut body scrub i don't know why they don't have it on the same aisle as body wash and body lotion like 
they have it way down here next to the hair products makeup and facial products this is a shower product but whatever tree hut has a lot of scents and i haven't smelled them all but mm. moroccan rose 10 out of 10. i've gotten this several times mm. Yeah, this helps remove dead skin and it leaves your skin feeling super soft like i was telling y'all earlier the dove exfoliant is more like a cream base and it's more soft this one is literally just straight up sugar and it's a little bit more abrasive okay like you'll be doing this and your skin is gonna turn red but this one is a good one let's see coco colada let's see this one's all right moonlight glow Ooh, I like this one a lot. Mm, I like this one a lot. I've never smelled this one, but this is right here. Might be my second fave. Not better than the Moroccan Rose, but this one smells good. This one is Dragon Fruit. I know people have been going crazy over Dragon Fruit. It smells like nothing. It smells like nothing. I heard it smells just like watermelon, but do I want to smell like watermelon? I don't know. Yeah, it smells like watermelon. It smells like a juicy, sweet watermelon. This one is gonna be my pickup for today. Moonlight Glow. This smells really good. I wanna see my skincare routine. My skin's been glowing, I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna lie. Let me go show y'all my skincare and then that'll be it for this video because it's a, it's a lot going on today. All right, you guys, so we are down to the last hygiene skincare product and that is going to be facial care so i'm going to show you guys what i use to wash my face and to moisturize my go-to facial cleansers are going to be the pan oxo the foaming wash because the first time i tried pan oxo they have a non-foaming wash and i'm like why is this not foaming up but it was still cleaning my face but i do prefer to have a foaming wash i don't know i just feel like it's cleansing more when it foams up on my face so i do like pan oxo this one is ten dollars i recently upgraded to the la roche jose and this is a purifying foamer cleanser as well this one is eighteen dollars and it is more product so you know you get more for your buck and i don't know this one just has been really good to me i haven't been breaking out my skin has been clear so like i said if it ain't broke don't try to fix it so this is what i've been using currently i have like half a bottle left so i don't need to pick this up but if you are looking to try a new facial wash i would recommend this after i wash my face i do use a toner by the brand ordinary but they don't have that at target so i can't really show y'all that but i can show y'all what i use for moisturizer which is going to be the neutrogena hydro boost now they do have a water gel and then a water cream i can't remember which one i have but i will leave the link in the description if it's the cream or the water gel so but they're basically the same formula one is just cream based and one is water based but this is a great moisturizer if you're looking for something a little bit more affordable because i do like tatcha's sorry <laughs> but i do like tatcha's moisturizing cream the purple one is the dewy one 10 out of 10 chef's kiss but that is very expensive so this is only what $20 versus hers is like 30 to 50 dollars makeup remover i do like using the cleansing water with a cotton swab that works really good and if i'm feeling lazy then i'll just use like a neutrogena makeup wipe but i don't really like using that because it does strip your face but if you're going to be doing a whole skincare routine, then it kind of doesn't matter because you're putting all the moisture right back into your face when you're using a purifying cleansing gel and using a moisturizer. Okay, so you're locking all that moisture back in even if you use a makeup removal wipe. So I'm just trying to make sure I showed y'all everything. Once again, I do apologize. It's busy in Target and this is a lot of pressure so if you made it this far please give your girl a thumbs up like it's not easy out here being in public recording you know like it is so busy in here and my anxiety is like out the roof like everybody's trying to walk down the aisle people are just looking at me and like i promise like i have friends on youtube like i'm not just doing this for nothing so please like please comment please share and i'm gonna go ahead and end this video because like i said it's busy but i'll see y'all again in two months for another 
updated uh, video and i'm gonna let you know let you guys know about the new products that i picked up i hope y'all enjoyed this video make sure to like comment and subscribe and i will see y'all next time